Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Vicky here and today I'm going to show you how you can use the new embossing plates by Simon Says Stamp. By the way, this is a part of a very fun blog hop celebrating Stamp Temper by Simon Says Stamp and make sure to visit my blog since there is an awesome giveaway as well as even more giveaways along the stops of the blog hop. Here is a close-up look on some of the products that have been released for Stamp Temper by Simon Says Stamp, but especially for today I'm going to show you how you can use this uh, new metal plate. This is called embossing texture plate and you can run it through your die cutting machine and it's going to give a beautiful texture on your paper. So I'm going to show you how you can use this today. And I'm going to create three different cards using the exact same design. So I have my big shot fold away out and I'm going to create my sandwich and I'm going to use this uh, metal, thin metal adapter in order to make sure that my embossing plate is going to work fine. And now I will go ahead and add one cutting plate, the embossing uh, texture plate as well as the cardstock on top and then another cutting plate and run it through my Sizzix machine. Now just uh, to let you know that uh, the cardstock that I am using today is just watercolor paper. I'm going to zoom in for you so that you can see better the texture. I think it's very beautiful and I like the texture plate because it's not deeply embossed. It's a totally different look than the embossing uh, folders and I like it because it's very subtle and it's great for creating beautiful backgrounds, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to use my Nuvo brushes for a fun technique and you don't need a lot of them. I just use one brush for uh, every shade of uh, red, another one for every shade of uh, blue and so on. So here I am using my pink one and I'm going to start at the bottom. And since this is a very light pink, I am uh, going uh, to go a couple of times over it just to saturate uh, the color a little bit more. By the way, I'm using Distress Oxide inks and every time I'm switching colors, you will be able to see the color that I'm using on your screen. And you will see that as I ink up my cardstock, the embossing is going to show up. Now, I don't load my brushes with too much ink and uh, I go very lightly over my cardstock. I prefer to add uh, a very light layer of ink and build up the layers as I go rather than apply too much ink at the beginning and then I won't be able to move it around. Now, if you are having problem with uh, blending your inks when you use uh, foam blending tools and uh, you see those uh, round marks on top of your paper, then I would suggest to try these brushes since they make uh, blending uh, super easy. They give you a very subtle and soft blending as you can see, but you can always go over the ink and add even more layers to saturate it a little bit more. So now I'm going to move on and uh, create another uh, background. Again, I am using the same technique and with my brush I'm going to apply three different colors. Notice that the colors that I choose are following the rainbow order, so this is going to make sure that I don't end up having an ugly color when uh, my two inks touch up and I will have a smooth blending. Now, of course, you can do this technique with any ink pad that you have and um, I decided to go with my Distress Oxide inks just because I love them and they are new to me. So anyway, I am going to move on and create a third panel. Now, these cards are super quick and easy to create and that's why I went ahead and create three different backgrounds. And um, the beauty of this uh, technique is that uh, by inking up uh, the background, it actually brings out all that beautiful texture that you got from the embossing uh, plate. Now, I'm going to finish off this background and then I can go ahead and start uh, decorating my cards. Now to decorate my cards I have uh, used these big uh, word uh, cutouts and as you can see I have cut them out two times, once from white cardstock and another time from black cardstock and uh, what I'm going to do is to place the white on top of the black. I am going to slightly offset the white on top and this way I have created a shadow. I am going to place it on top of my cardstock so hopefully you can see the shadow there. And I am keeping uh, those cards super easy since I just wanted to show you the technique and how you can use the embossing plates. And since this is part of a blog hop, I know that you have to visit many stops along the way to get more inspiration. 
So all I am doing now is pairing the big word cutouts with little sentiments which I am going to emboss with white embossing powder on top of a black cardstock. And as always you will find links on everything I am using here including the die cuts as well as the stamp sets that I used down below in the description area as well as on my blog. So I have stamped my sentiments with uh, Versa marking. I have applied my thin white embossing powder and now I'm using my heat gun to make sure that everything is melted and uh, I'm actually going to pair the word kindness with a sentiment that says goes a long way. I'm also going to add make me happy for the you card and for the star card I'm going to end up with you are a star. So I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe white glue to uh, stick all the words down. I'm also going to add some uh, tape adhesive with my tape runner at the back of my black strip. And the first panel is ready and I will continue doing the exact same thing for the other two cards. Now all that's left to do to finish off the cards is to stick those panels on top of card bases and you can go ahead and uh, stick them on top of a colorful uh, card base that matches the colors of your panel or you can go simple just like I did with the last two cards and use a white card base. Of course you can add a uh, dimension if you wish so and instead of using a tape runner at the back of the panels just add some foam tape. And these are the three cards for today, which prove that uh, clean and simple can be so beautiful and you don't have to overthink your cards every time. <music>